Welcome back to Pyre, everybody. And as promised, let's go have a chat with, um, I can't remember his name, the Lone Minstrel. That's right, he doesn't have it's like Luke or something. He seems to have something on his mind. After the liberation of Jodariel, you find the Lone Minstrel back in the wagon, looking as though no such thing had just occurred this night. You think you see him tilt his head as you approach. Some words of congratulation are in order for this evening. I should think, reader. And so, congratulations on prevailing in the liberation rite. Surely, Jodariel shall be most grateful, and her safe return onto the Commonwealth ought to benefit the plan. 56% in which you all now play a part. As for your adversaries of the essence, this must have been a bitter loss for them and to Tamitha, although they must have known their chance was far from certain. Thus shall we await the next turn of the cycle of rites. Celeste and I are to return to our respective duties for the time, as now Scribe's Gate is sealed. I await when next we shall meet, when next you may yet live up to the glory of the night winds in the eyes of the eight scribes which yet shine down for us. He trails off, then nods to you for in his cordial manner and bids you a good rest of the evening. Read it! What we got? The Essence. The winged members of the Essence, each chosen by the matriarch Tristia Tithis, are living exemplars of liberty and piety. Would that my wings could be thus. Once you, of course, must know, once you, of course, must know, we all had wings. It is said the people of the Empire relinquished theirs, drawn in by earthly matters as they were. So the exact opposite of we all once had gills until someone decided they wanted fucking lungs. I will land. Anyway, but the harps, such as Tristia, held tight to the liberty their plumage could afford. This divergent paths did cause a share of differences between the winged and the wingless over time. But here in this land, our purposes are shared. Our goals united. That, then, is the essence. That is who they are, and what, and why. Yeah. Anything else we got here? On kinship. Each one of us within the eight, beside the imp -haub. besides the imp -haub, we would have perished on the downside had we not found each other and together formed our union. Here in the downside, all are bound, but... That which binds us here does not have latitude. We chose the bond of kinship. Our exile took precedence over our differences. The Empire, which has subjugated all of our all our kind into a tense alliance, shall give way to a society in which our differences are paramount. There, may you embrace your ancient culture whilst jointly forming a great culture all its own. Next to mercy, it is kinship that'll form the bedrock of our commonwealth. And then they decide they need to burn books. That was a good call. Not just burn books. No, no. No, burn books and make it illegal to be literate. Uh, here we go. Forgot, because I'm streaming, the camera has to be way up higher. <clears throat> Which is going to be real annoying for editing Cameron in the future, as he's like, fuck, I already adjusted based on what my head would be, and then you moved it. Anyway, continue your journey. Good morning, everyone. We are at the mercy of the stars, and none can say how soon they'll shine for us again. Let us recover for a while at the moonlit alcove and decide how to proceed. Yeah, that makes sense. That's the usual plan. Bam! I didn't read that because it's just the moonlit alcove again. We're going to stay there until the stars tell us to stop. I don't think I said a single word in that sentence the proper way. Bide your time. Best make yourselves as comfortable as possible here for the time, Nightwings. The rites ought to commence again before we know it. Until then, be well. Well, I mean, this seems like the time we should be doing vocations. Thus, you and your companions remain on the mountaintop waiting for the stars to shine again. The cycle of the rites is ending. The news that Valfred, Cat! that Valfred the Lone Minstrel revealed to you now threatens to disrupt the group's resolve. What of uh, that? Who most deserves their freedom? Cat, I will cook you for dinner! 
I won't. I, I love my cat. But I can threaten. Can there be any hope for our revolutionary plan to change the Commonwealth if too few Exiles men should return? I mean, we're already at 50% success rate. And that's before we knew we were not going to be able to send many more people, so I'm not super worried. These questions hang like a fog over you and your companions as you linger there on Mount Alodil. For now, the exiles of the Nightwings have had to stick together for as many opportunities as they shall have. Many moons pass. Vocation time! One cold evening, Volford, hey! finds you off on your own. Well, my girl, it's time once more. Come see. Volfred indicates the sky, and through the snow, you see that he is right. Ooh, it's snow time. Soon all of your companions are gathered. Volfred regards the group in his steady manner. As you all know, I have refrained from in the, participating in the rites myself. This was a long-held choice of mine for a variety of reasons. Chief those reasons, chief among those reasons, is so that I might direct our plan. Still 56. Free from unwanted attention, both from our adversaries here and those who would oppose us in the Commonwealth. Another reason is my past experiences conducting the rites, it did not end on good terms. Before my time, the Nightwings comprised three exiles. Brighton, a former exile of the Nightwings who conducted the rites alongside Orlek and Arisa. Arisa, a former exile of the Nightwings who conducted the rites alongside Wolfred and Orlek. And Orlek. Betrayed and abandoned in his moment of glory. Little Tizo was with them as well, still learning in their ways. After R Brighton regained his freedom and the liberation rites, the Nightwings took me in. A story for another time, but for one thing, I had capacity to read the ancient book. Anyway, when next we earned our way to the Liberation Rite, Orlek was anointed for return. He had long been in exile, and his horns were beginning to show. We prevailed. Little Tizo snuffed the accuser's pyre. Who, if I remember... Yeah, Lendel the Liar. Thus, Orlek earned his freedom. However... Just as the shimmer pool was to engulf him, Arisa, she shoved him from the precipice and took her freedom in his stead. She perished, of course. Only the anointed can transcend the shimmering pool, but she thought the warnings were a myth and paid the price. She was always restless. I presumed Orlak perished, too, to survive a fall from Mount Alodil. I was left alone. Subsequently, I made no attempts to reassemble the Nightwings, knowing that such treachery, such harm, was even possible as part of this ordeal. I, frankly, still do not hold Arisa entirely at fault for what had transpired. I hold instead the Commonwealth responsible. For it put us in the desperate for it put us in this desperate situation. And I resist the urge to think the rights may partly be to blame as well for pitting brother against brother and sister against st sister. Volfrid breathes deep, breathes a deep sigh. <laughs> now I see that or Orlek yet lives at a time when our plan is already in motion. And... Stupid phone. Sorry, somebody sent me a message. I wonder... Oh, it's just a thing to read later. Even as the stars are fading, perhaps a signal that the scribes themselves know that the Nightwings are divided, and they do not approve. Eh. But I choose to take it as a sign that we must act. The scribes have put us in a set of circumstances where each one of us may rise to the occasion. The Nightwings and our plan need all the help they can get, and so I have made a decision which I wish to announce here to you all. Looks on us. In the name of the Nightwings and reader by your leave, I would conduct the rites again. Long have my skills languished in the matter, I admit, although I trust I shall regain them soon enough. While I once vowed never to conduct the rites again, our present situation calls for all our resources to be brought to bear. So, 
If I may be of use during the rites to come, I shall avail myself. That's all. Now then, our reader shall determine where we are headed come first light. Volfer powers his head to everyone while the others exchange looks. Then, one by one, salute him in turn. Volfer stands ready to conduct the rites again. Welcome back to the Rex. Bam! Gather the band! Rust updated, Volfred. Once more do several stars shine bright in the night sky, revealing several paths for you to pursue towards salvation. Well, let's see where we're going. We got Tristia. Oris. Ah, our ghoul. Where are we going? The liar. Ah, yeah, the tempers. Whoa, I would do freaking. And. Uh, so, she's real low. The tempers are real low. The accusers are getting up there. I wouldn't mind knocking the accusers down, because I kind of. I want the fates to stay where they are. So, knocking the accusers down would be good. Giving the tempers and the withdrawn chance to build up is fine. They're so low with their favor that it's not an issue. So let's knock the accusers down because they absolutely do not. They don't deserve their freedom. I actually don't. I'm pretty sure he's just like a uh, a deserter, much like that guy we let out in the first round, whose name I definitely remember. It was. Ah, so we shall. Sh we search. <laughs> I can't remember his name, I'm sorry, guys. So we soon shall square against Lendl the Liar and the Accusers. Him I know all too well. Perhaps you notice that he doesn't like us very much. He then tells you what he knows of your next adversary. Hey, it's about time. Lendl the Liar, the first adversary you confronted in the rites not long after you took your first steps to the path to freedom. A former constable of the Commonwealth. That explains the star on his armor there. He regained a reputation for his strict and brutal manner. By any means, he always caught the crook. Once, he arrested a civilian who hated him on suspicion of theft of Commonwealth artifacts that had gone missing. Let him discover the artifacts himself in the civilian's home. The suspect soon was exiled. Still, he denied the charges, even as they cast him downriver. The case was investigated further, though, too late. Suspicion turned to Lendl. Turned out he planted the damning evidence himself so he was exiled in turn. In the downside, he, he soon became acquainted with the rites, having heard of all this from several people in high places. He asserted himself as the de facto leader of the accusers. They bent to his aggressive nature and prevailed many times under his watch. Yet each time his chance at liberty arose, the Nightwings either defeated him or simply did not show. He wishes more than anything to outdo the Nightwings. Perhaps even more so than to be free again. Let us give him another opportunity. For now, have a good night, my girl. You bid Volfred a good evening. At dawn, you shall take flight again. Chat? Who did chat with? Alright. So, we do have the readings. There's one new page. The afterword. A list... Whoa, cover to cover. What? Blah, blah. Unlock every chapter in the Book of Rays. Oh, okay. <clears throat> a list of terms which you may wish to know. Oh, okay. As an exile of the downside, a re as reader of this book and as conductor of the rites, you are engaged now in a cycle which has lasted since the dawn of this age. Here, within this part of the book, is offered summary of all key figures, locales, terms, astral phenomena you shall encounter, either firsthand or in passing on your path. To know the history of the downside and the rights is to prepare yourself to walk the path towards enlightenment and then to liberate its, and to liberty itself. Should you be free again, remember, reveal not the rights themselves, nor the existence of this book. But why? Right. Oh, there's more reading. What else do we have? What? 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 Oh. Boy, howdy. Ah. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I mean, let's start with... Let's just read each section and then go do something else. Rights terms. 
Adversary, the opposing band of exiles is against the rights. Aura, one solitary weapon in the rights, one inner strength made manifest. Banishment, I mean, let's see if we can find anything that might be neat, because I feel like we already know all of these. Expulsion, state of internal banishment. I feel like we already know all of these. Um, how do I inspect page two? Because there's still... There's this page that you're not showing me. That pit. Okay. Glory, hope, one's capacity to light, Ma measure one's worth, inspiration, capacity, gain, enlightenment, liberation, right, all right. Mastery, a blessing bestowed, orb, with celestial orb, presence, one's inner and order of strength, pyre, yep. Cool. Shimmer pool, quickness, remember, talisman, yep. Uh, reader, rank, raiments, flame proof, mass, and robes, yeah, because you have to jump into the fire. Sigil. Alright, cool. So we already know all of those. Let's get some more information about the eight scribes themselves. Again, it's just... There's, there's still another page. <coughs> Gol Golathian, known as the Master General and the Nomad Scribe. He wields the legendary Tower Shield Oath Taker. Ooh, he's a shield wielder, like Captain America. Haub, the Swallow, known as the Accursed and the Imp Scribe. He possesses the legendary wings of misfortune. Jomer, many main, known as the Alpha Chief and the Cur Scribe. He wields the legendary Jawblade Knee Bender. Luz Glorian, known as Hundred Vines and the Sap Scribe. He wields the legendary staff, the Genealogy of Sclorian. Molten Milith, known as the Wild Witch and the Crone Scribe. She wields the legendary Lantern, Flame of the First Hag. Solomon Myrrh, known as the last of his name and the Demon Scribe. Demon Scribe. Is that what... Oh, wait. No, the demon was... Was Jodario. That's right. That's right. There's not going to be a scribe for uh, Fae. He possesses the legendary Black Nails of the Fallen Emperor. Tristia Tithis, known as the Blessed Born and the Harp Scribe. She wields the Holy Scepter of the Saharan Empire. Under King Oris, known as the Sea Sojourner and the Worm Scribe. He wears the legendary bladed male Silverfish. Nice. Uh, next we'll read about the Trapperns, but that's, that's for later, because that's a lot of reading, and we're not going to do all of it right now. Uh, yeah, Volfred's been added. We got his biography and all that. Uh, we have equipment for him. As we can. I don't think I'm going to be using either of the rings. Sir Gilman's still a thing. That needs to be sold. Uh, you have a lot. You are full inspiration. You really want me to go... Okay, that's fair. After Bear banishes an adversary, spawn a moon drop. You know, let's give it a shot. I'm pretty sure, because he can summon like the little tree guys, I think that might help with banishment. And then someone else can hop in there. I like, do so hate huh? to thusly contact you, O oh reader. I hate having you contact me, but Yet go on. an awful rumor reached me recently. It's probably irrelevant. That you have within your retinue a traitor. I do. To the Nightwings and the Commonwealth alike. Is it you? But you would never harbor such a traitor. No, no, would you? I would know. I wouldn't have known such thing. I trust your time within the downside would have taught you that. Yep. No, never harbor a traitor. I wouldn't dare of it. You rise after a fifth night of slumber. And somehow the voice, which thus far has reached you only in rites, has found its way into your sleep as well. You shake free of it. The time at the moonlit grove has made everyone restless. The groove is eager to set forth at your command. Alright, so if I remember correctly, it's... And T. T. I can't do that right now. Can I do it now? Nope. Planner. Damn it. Alright, well, I want to check the planner. And I also want to try and find... Little sparkly things if I can. Things to investigate. Which I feel like... I get louder as I get closer, maybe. I don't know. Whoa! I killed an imp! Didn't know that's a thing that can happen. I'm trying to find sparkles, but I'm trying to not go too far outside of my path to do it. Like there! Point of interest! 
Hey, and there's the achievement for it. As the wagon soars across the skies of, above Waking Wood, you notice Valfred appears lost in thought. You cannot sense straight away what he is thinking. Do not mind me, Reader, simply. That being here in this vicinity it brings back a lot of memories. It gives me much to ponder. I'll be back. Much to ponder. I hid within these woods for many, many years, making preparations for our plan. I cast, it aside, I cast aside my raiment and became untraceable. There I waited for the plan to germinate. So it means a lot now to be here, above that place at last. Quite the view, wouldn't you say, my girl? Yeah. All right. So Blackshore or Nest? Oh wait, no, Blackshore or Howling Cove. Faye senses the presence of the eight scribes on this route. The mental suggests a good supply of stardust may be found along this route. Let's get a boon. Let's get a boon from the gods. Oh, right. I have to actually press a button. Black Basin. Uh, we will, but first, bam. I'll be right with you. So, we need to do two battles. So we beat them, and we beat one more person, and then we fight the fate. And then that'll be their liberation right. Which is, is promising. Hey, what do you want? There. Volford appears to finish sealing some sort of document. He smiles as he approaches you. you got it, Hello, my girl. Was just on my way to make a drop. Report a bit of progress. Our supporters on the other side should like to know. It is not clear to you as yet exactly how Volford is able to communicate with agents in the Commonwealth. We have our ways of making certain that such messages, messages manage to make their way to whom they need to reach. Most of the time, at least. It is not exactly the most dignified of messages, methods, but the messenger imp... <laughs> fucking adorable little pug looking motherfucker is a hard working is as hard working as the rest of us or dare I say more so most imps lack the capacity to do that job they of course cannot traverse the outer boundaries of the downside but they can squeeze much closer than any of us Wolford offers to tell you more of this process it seems that he has been using certain imps to relay messages to his agents in the commonwealth for some time now but from that point, we depend on certain other means. A trafficker like Ruki would likely to be familiar with them. Then my agents intercept the messages as they arrive. The messages are coded, in the off chance they reveal themselves before unwanted eyes. But even still, our agents put themselves to great peril there, supporting our cause and our plan. I could not ask for a more dedicated bunch. A shame we cannot meet them, separated as we are. If we succeed in our d endeavors, it shall be thanks in no small part to them. Or the they have identified hundreds of civilians. They have identified hundreds of citizens grown loyal to our cause, found hidden corners where they may can speak freely. Their goal is to grow in numbers while remaining safe. For we cannot resist the Commonwealth if too few citizens stands with us. Whether due to apathy or fear or lack of willingness to see our nation as we do. Some of these agents I have known for many, many years, since long before my exile. Not a many were former students from my days of teaching the Commonwealth Doctrine. It was clear, then, who among us did not take the common view. These days I report to them our progress, and they in turn report theirs back. From that assessment, I update the estimation of our planned success. Our chances of success increase substantially each time we liberate one of our own. But those loyal to us in the Commonwealth slowly grow their strength, regardless knowing of our efforts. Thus do we inspire each other, not unlike the dynamics which I see among the Nightwings here. Now, good afternoon then, Rita. I've, I have a delivery to make. He strides out of the wagon, bearing the sealed message. All right. Let us walk the Eight Scribes' path. You and Faye wander together for a while through the harsh formations of Black Shore, a low road of the nest. Tricia passes through the razor-sharp sands, sometimes in circles. What exactly she is looking for, she cannot explain. However, eventually, however, she happens on something that never caught your notice. Look at this, look at this, miss! The scribes, they walked this very path. I think they did. And left this here for us. 
The object she procures does seem to emanate with some sort of faint and ancient power. Wisdom Trace. Grant. Okay. That's good. Let's do that. Who wants it? So Gelman's on fine. You, you are real close to leveling, so it's probably going to be you. Birth is fine. You need experience, but you've got not enough enlightenment there that I'm probably just going to run you through some rights. You'll be fine. Tizo. Ah, oh, Tizo's low. But you are right on the cusp of leveling up. Yep. So take a little advantage of that. Oh, good as time as any to say thanks for having me along on this strange little journey of yours, reader. That I like. So I think we're going for that, right? Plus four to quickness, presence, and hope, and making it all better. Yeah. Now do we want... We can trigger an aura burst, or do we want... Yeah, I think we're going to want that for her fourth one. If we get to it. So, looking at the team we have now. Thinking about liberation rights. Faye... Doesn't want to go back. Period. She wants to stay here with the son of uh, the leader of the fates whose name I can't remember. She wants to be with him. So I don't want to liberate her. Period. Tizo! I don't know if Tizo can be liberated. Like, are imps allowed? Like, if so, I kind of want, I kind of want to give him the chance to do that. I want to give, like, otherwise he's never going to know anything with Commonwealth, and I want to give him a chance to see it. Sir Gilman absolutely deserves liberation. I don't know if he'll accept it, though. Same with Pamatha. Like, Pamatha and Sir Gilman, I don't think it's up to me with them. I think it's up to them whether or not they want to be liberated. And then Volfred obviously needs to be liberated, but he needs a lot more enlightenment. And if Volfred doesn't get liberated, Berth, Bertrude doesn't get liberated. Because Bertrude, wherever Volfred is, Bertrude should be, is my thinking. So if I can get to a point where I have two left, I want it to be Volfred, then Bertrude. Because that's, that is her only goal. She is only with us because she wants to spend time with Volfred. So, having her locked away from him, like that, seems too cool to me. Anyway, continue drink. We're already at a half an hour. Um, <laughs> that means we would have gotten an entire episode without a single fight, and that seems not okay. So we're going to go to the Nestristia, yeah, we're going to do that fight. Uh, this episode is just going to run a little long, because there should be at least one battle in each episode, in my opinion, but there's going to be a lot of story coming up. You were to conduct the rights, yeah. Yes. The wagon comes to a sudden stop after a near miss with someone or something that got right in its path. Oh no. At first you see no sign of whoever or whatever it was, but then <laughs> a voice rings out from off the side of your path. The friendly yet somehow aggravating tone leaves a little room for questions as to who it is. Hey guys, uh, so maybe watch where you're going a bit more next time, I guess. You must have scared Dad half to death. I mean, just look at him. But it's good running into you like this because I got I got for you a real special deal. We got some pretty out there stuff on him, and it's been slowing us down a bit, to be completely honest here. Something something about him, I don't know. But Dad had just hasn't been himself. But once we open shop, why, these little numbers, they're going to fly off the shelves. And you, you can have first dibs. All you gotta do is give us a lift, cause we're you're headed to the Nest Tristia, right? Just drop us off when you get there, okay? Black Wagon does not provide for you the most spacious accommodations, but it may have room enough for Falcon Ron. Barely, at least for the short remainder of your trip. Oh yeah, that's fine. On the other hand, you sense a troubling energy from whatever strange artifact he is transporting right now, and wonder whether you should get involved. Falcon Ron's been on my side. For a very long time. I love him. He is amazing. He's absolutely getting a ride. There is no question of that. Though your fellow exiles exchange cautious looks, you invite Falcon Rod to climb board. Oh, great, thanks, guys. I'll just, uh, I'll squeeze right in. Uh, yes, he does not. Dad, come on. Put your back into it already. Eventually, Falcon Rod manages to get on board as you prepare to set forth again. Falcon Ron joined you. Ah, sweet! Now he can join us in the rights, and no. Uh, 
after what felt like an interminable trip, interminable trip, during which Falconron did not once cease to speak of matters relevant only to him, you reach your destination. Anyway, thanks, guys. Remember what I said? These stingers I got here, you got dibs on them if you come visit me and Dad. That is, and now we'll be going soon. So be seeing you, okay? Damn, Ernie. Well, I want to know what the hell kind of fun worrying cargo you have. Whether from Falcon Ron sees the drivel or the ill effects of his cargo, everyone is left feeling out of sorts. Minus five glory. Fuck did you bring him out? Oh, hey guys, thanks again for helping me and Dad back there. Really owe you one. So as promised, I got something really, really good in stock for you right here. He paused a dramatic effect and then What the fuck? The several artifacts, black hoof. First talisman. Bear has 100 percent more stamina than usual, but cannot touch the orb. Black heart. After being getting banished, Bear return either returns with unlimited stamina. Or is a fast moving howler. Oh, fun! And Black Claw. The bear's aura remains while grasping the orb, but cannot be cast. Oh, oh, oh. Cannot be used by worms, harps, or crones. Ah, because they don't have a real aura. That would be so perfect on Jodariel. Oh, she's doing great up on the, down, on the upside. They have any with energy that can't possibly completely be completely healthy. Nice, nice, huh? You guys got first dibs on these bag boys. I can tell you what, they're gonna go fast. Alright, have this. Oh, how much does this thing for? Wow, that is, that is cheap. Yeah, yeah, this was the most expensive. Not much chance. Molly Guy Grab that. Oh, you oh, great, you guys. I knew you were discerning customers. Now you enjoyed that one, okay? And remember, I still got the others, too. And you can buy them if you want. Although, those ones, they are real popular, so no refunds on these guys, you understand? But they are real good, so there's no chance you're going to want to pawn them off. <laughs> but I can't get a refund. Right, fair enough. Um, yeah, we're not... I don't want them. This one is the only one that's really useful. Um, worms, harps, or crones. So it's basically Faye or Tizo. Which probably Faye, if we're being honest. Worms, harp. I mean, maybe the sap, but honestly, Fey. What's this do? After Fey casts her art, it can bounce off objects and solid surfaces. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Tizo? Oh, yeah. That's true. I mean, you have nothing right now. There you go. Have that instead. That's just a better use of your time. Here, you can have that back. Um, do you have any, like... Uh, no, you don't. All my masteries. I don't need that right now. I couldn't. Oh, thank God. I can upgrade that, though. Bertha? Nope. Have you done Yeah. Head. Mm. Mm. Uh. Yup. Windmill slam that shit. Here, I'll buy that, too. Bye, Tice. Uh, so Tizo, what level are you? 20? Tizo, 15, three levels, puts you at 90%. <gasps> Sorry, just, it's so sexy. Yeah, let's do that. You jump further than usual. Make you real bouncy. <laughs> be enough. You're talking. you guys have a good day out there. Forged findings. Oh, I'll talk to you in a sec. Great forged findings. There is a simple pleasure to be found in foraging about this place. Easy for a cur to say, of course. Though barren looking to the naked eye, the downside has its share of semi-hidden treasures waiting to be found. It has a nose for treasure, after all, which drew us here. Certain types of artifacts found in this place would fetch a reasonable sum in soul, whether because they shine with inner light or due to other special properties. 
I have observed that stardust, freshly fallen from the heavens, sometimes glimmers in the afternoon. I have not found a use for it as yet, although, because it brings me faith, perhaps I have indeed. Sounds like you definitely have. Faith, what's up? Faith seems to be talking to the black wagon's walls again, though this time something seems to come over her. Little brother, what is wrong with me? What, what is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? I'm not sure whether to check in on her or leave her be. I mean, I think she's smiling. Her eyes do seem to be glowing red. Wait, listen. You sense now is not the time to interrupt. That Faye is on the verge of confronting some long dormant emotions, which she ought to face. They always said there was something wrong with me, and they wouldn't really tell me what. They wouldn't say. It. They just said that I was moon touched. Those deemed impaired by common standards, or just very different in a negative sense. But so what? So then the scribes, they they called me here. They're the ones who brought me here, not those those people. They were so cruel. They were always so cruel. I didn't have a little brother at the time. No one that I recall, really. Although, so much of it back then. I, I can't tell how much I dreamt. Most of it, I, I didn't want it to be true. But I remember that they threw me out. They decided they would throw me out. I let the scribes take care of me, they said. The scribes, they would take care of me. It was still very quiet here, and I was all alone again. Although, I think I liked it more. Being alone down here than being alone back there. Everybody's alone down here, and so it makes me feel less alone somehow. Back there, I, I, I would sometimes see families, brothers, and sisters, mothers, and fathers, but here, there was hardly anyone at all. But I knew I was closer to the scribes. I knew that they were in the sky above, and I did search for, for them up there, you know? And then one night I found them. I saw the stars, and they were falling to the ground, and I thought... Why is it the scribes themselves are crying as they... Are they sad? And maybe are they sad for me? Well, that was when I first saw you, little brother. With your the help, I would get closer to the scribes. That way, maybe they would... They could answer all my questions, don't you think? But I'm so very glad I found you and the others. I'm finally not alone. I'm finally not alone. And more importantly, I think sometimes I feel that way. That I'm not alone. Maybe... As we get closer, maybe I will get to feel that way more often, being here or being anywhere with you and, and all my friends. She falls silent, although you were concerned for her at first. You sense that now she's at peace. I am very warm. I need to turn on my fan. She wanders off, paying you no notice in the least. You sense you have a better understanding of her now. And that does... Hey! Crime vagrancy. I mean, we already knew all this. Motive none. Yeah, she's... There's nothing wrong with her. I just... The society that makes it illegal to be literate kicked her out for being different. Honestly, fuck them. All the more reason where I'm like, Faye's not going back. I'm gonna do her a favor, and she can stay here where she's happy. Ugh. Here, among the molten cages of the nest of Tristia, you await the signal of the stars. There is no sign yet of your expected adversaries, the accusers. Then, the little Intimzo flutters up to you. Tizo cautions you that some history with the next adversary, Lendl. Tizo seems to be indicating that Lendl has a personal vendetta against him. Well, you're going to kick his fucking ass tonight, Tizo. That's right. But, before we can explain anything further, the stars begin to call to you. That's a bad idea. Your adversary shall deal an additional <laughs> Um Arch Beast Sun Grease. I really don't want to deal with any of these, honestly. I don't know if I'm ready for that, but This is no liberation, right? So let's give it a shot. Bring it. Uh, has powerful defense abilities and rights. It can spawn an invulnerable sapling with its own defensive aura. Reader, or should I say, deceiver. I mean, or he is I called Lendo the Liar. Exile in your ranks. No. The exile Volfred Sandor no. Himself. The place where the exiles were. I built an army of exiles. Oh wait. 
He has no mm -hmm. love for our sacred tradition. He's no love for you. Yet you would He's heed blood. his poisoned words over mine own? Yes. His are honeyed. You, friends. you absolutely did not. Been fine. Let us return to a more formal distance. Oh, good. I'm horrified by the concept. Your campaign companions are assembled and ready for the right to commence. However, there's still no sign of the accusers. Something is seriously something cautioning you to stay alert. But then, someone leaps forth from the shadows and he grabs his mask. Aha! Caught out, you miserable beast! I knew it! After all this time, I knew that you were still among their ranks! Teaser was angry to have stumbled into an apparent trap laid for him by Lendl. Silence, friend! You robbed me of my freedom and my dignity! You're a lie. Your evil shall be ended here and now, and you, Nightwing, shall not deny me thus again. Come then, my accusers, for we face again none other than the spawn of the accursed imp, Hawoob the Swallow. Let us show him now that he is a disgrace. Tizo whistles something angry back at him. Whatever transpired between him and Lendl in the past, Lendl evidently has not let it go. He's not really doesn't really seem like one to let anything go. That's kind of why he's here. Reader, my girl, let us confer a moment here. I am returned to the rites, a tradition that I had once disavowed. And now that I've donned the raiments, the voice knows I am here. It is no matter, really, for our plan is well in motion. All that remains of us is to prevail. I shall aid you and the others in this task as best I can. Let us see whether this old limbs of mine are still of any use. All right, hold and space. There he is at last, alive and well. Boyam. Boyam. Interesting. Blink. Stir out in the Commonwealth. You plant okay. your little seeds of discontent. Mm -hmm. Know that your designs at sowing chaos shall not be tolerated here. Mm -hmm. Now, good evening to you. Proceed. Develop run. Now then, Nightwings, I look forward to conducting with you all, if and when, of course, the readers calls for us to stand as a triumvirate together. I shall be soon. Ash and coal. Yeah. Go on then. Uh, Lendl. Nah, I'm good. You. Volfred. He needs the XP. Uh, you need vengeance. And you're my power hitter. And also, you want to spend time with Wolfred. Tivo hoped never to see Lendl again, but is prepared to face him. Hey. Nightwings! The wicked fiend you serve is an affront! He denied my rightful freedom in my moment of triumph. I shall never forgive him or any of you. Okay. Okay, buddy. You need to learn some chill. Hold on out there. Anyway, I'm just gonna... Whoop. Alright. Bye bye. Now, why? Oh, right. Hi there. I'm just gonna. Hi. The night wings are the first to strike. That's rude. So. I thought, for some reason, I thought summoning the thing would still work with that. I forgot you can't cast. Um, but I mean, you still just... Do, 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 do. I grab this. Do, 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 do. Blah. Blast! Come, accusers. We cannot let them set us back again. I mean, you're, you're still technically in the lead, if it helps at all. Dose without passing the orb. I mean... I think it sounds like a difficult task. But let's be honest, I don't really pass the orb very often. Here we go! Ooh, clever, clever planning. Whoop. Whoop. I win. Whoop. Serpent Queen. Damn right she is. That's why she's done her 200 fucking pyre damage. Anyway. Hi. I'm just gonna. I take that. Hope that's all right. No, no, no. Please separate. <laughs> Worth it. You know what's real great about my stamina usage? It's near unlimited. <laughs> oh my god! It's still not over under a hundred. Anyway, 
Can't cast. That's fine. Oh, Prixical. No, you don't need to be that close. Nobody needs to be that close. Really? Really? Farewell, accusers. The really? Yeah, hits real hard, don't she? The night wings now are closer to achieving victory. <laughs> Whoop. So apparently, um, using any of my abilities, um, he comes back without the shield, without his aura. Whoop. Bye bye. So I can't use shield or uh, blink. Now go. Because yeah, we're the. Whoop. Ooh, good jump. Good jump. That's not what I wanted. Oh, so close. So I gotta walk real slow like fucker. Four, three, two, one. Come on, crony. Bye bye. Get off my fucking land. A stroke of luck is all. I don't know about much of that. Good luck. Whoop. Wow. <coughs> For being a slow snake lady, you do fucking work. Hi. Bye bye. The impotent. Um, the claw's not quite working as well as I wanted it to. But it is doing work. Ah, yes. One more solid hit should do it, whether it's with the imp or not. Your victory is at hand. You want to try and jump me? Apparently don't. And it is done. You didn't even try to take a deal again. Welcome to the team, both of them. Yeah, that was really crushing. Like, I gave them extra health. The right they took done. extra health. I still just destroyed them. Uh, we're going to end the episode here. Uh, so all the, the cleanup after battle stuff is going to be in the next episode. Because I just, I wanted to have a fight in there. But this episode is pushing real late. Uh, so next episode, we're going to we're gonna finalize everything. It's going to be good. Hopefully we get into another battle in the next episode. I might, I might just have to uh, deal with the fact that some episodes aren't going to have... Uh, fights in them because this this was pushing it uh, but that's for next week for now you guys have yourselves a wonderful night